Hello and welcome to the hardest talk topic that I'm going to talk about, although I'm sure I'll find some way to get you all a little uncomfortable in the other topics as well. Weight loss and exercise. Now this conversation is not about how to get weight off your body quickly. This is not about crash diets or how to get into that perfect dress for that special occasion or to shed pounds quickly. Crash diets don't work. Understanding it takes just amount, just the same if not more amount of time to take the weight off as the amount of time it's to take for it to get on. We need to grant ourselves a little bit more time and clear more manageable expectations around weight loss. But that's not what this is about. This is about how exercise contributes to weight loss. A lot of women, and we're talking intelligent women, over the years in my fitness program virtually, live, personal training clients and beyond, will say to me, I worked out all week, I ate really well. Why am I not seeing results? These are smart women because we feel like we're putting in such effort, we need to see it. Now you'll probably feel good. You might even see some changes in your body structure, some sculpting happening, but it really takes time. And I know it's agonizing and frustrating, and a lot of times we wanna throw the talent, but believe you me, and you can ask any nutritionist, this is not coming from me independently, crash diets, completely derail your metabolism, thus making it harder for sustainable weight loss and strength building in the long run. So be in it for the long haul. Recognize it's about small changes leading to big results. Okay, my pitch is over. Now let's get to the real information about weight loss and exercise. So, we often think also, also that if you do crazy cardio, you're sweating bullets, you panting, that you're gonna burn more calories. In the immediate, yes, but sometimes that'll spike hunger. Sometimes our body will go into like kind of like a, you know, fight flight mode and try to starvation mode and hold on to that weight. The best exercise by the CDC and a lot of the ruling bodies in the health world is you might not like it, but I'm gonna keep it real with the facts. 300, 300 minutes of exercise a week. So what does that basically mean? about a 50 minute workout of moderate exercise, five to six days a week. Now you could bite, break that up into bite-sized pieces because exercise is cumulative. You could do 25 minutes in the morning, 25 minutes at night. You could take a day out and do 60 minutes a day and maybe a little extra at night or spread it out in whatever increments you want to. But that's the amount of exercise to get off 5% of your weight. Understanding that 70 to 80% of your body outcome is your nutrition. What you eat, caloric intake, impacts that final result. Now, a certain amount of exercise can burn those calories. You want to take in about a similar amount as you're in, as you're expending. I'm not going to write you a formal plan because I'm not your nutritionist in this video. What I am is your exercise guidance into understanding how exercise can assist in your weight loss. It can't be the be all and end all. It has to be about smart nutrition. Now I do know that 10 to 20% depending on your family history of your body outcome is genetics. So if there's obesity in the family, that means your task is a little greater in pushing yourself a little harder in making those smart eating decisions, and we're gonna talk about how to eat in this program. I am a licensed health coach, not the kind that sells diet plans in a triangle program, or a pyramid scheme rather, what am I saying? You know what I meant? That it's not about me trying to sell anything, it's me having actual knowledge to teach you how to eat. But right now, exercise, exercise, exercise is a bonus. Now, cardio we've talked about. It helps you burn those calories quickly. A lot of us though, or reach a period in our life where cardio is not it. From about 18 to 30, cardio is your jam. That's the best way to keep that weight off, to keep strong, to give you energy boost in the scheme of exercise. Once you cross over to the 35 to 65 range, that's strength training. Weight-bearing exercises, not only to protect your, protect your joints for longevity, not only to prevent all of those ailments that come as our bones degenerate, as some of us have you know, access to some of the challenges of osteopenia, osteoporosis, and so on. But strength training, build your muscle mass. More muscle burns calories from just sitting around. The more muscle you have, the more likely you're going to keep the weight off when you're losing it from proper nutrition decisions. So, 
Don't think that when you start strength training, you're gonna start seeing that sculpt. Just like the healthy eating and being mindful of less calorie intake and moving more and drinking more and sleeping more and managing your stress. I know it sounds like so much, but this is your life we're talking about. It takes time though for that strength to build. And it's not just one area. We need to work our upper for posture to create that cut, to create that muscle mass in our upper body. It's also about building your core strength. That's also about posture and balance. And for building the muscle to burn calories from just sitting around because fat burns more calorie or muscle burns more calories than fat. Oopsie. That's why men have an easier time losing weight because they have more muscle mass than fat cells. I know it's hard us being women, but that's just the nature of biology. Lower body. The more strength in our lower body, it offsets shock that comes into our joints. So not only is strength training important to burn calories and to get us closer to our weight loss goals, but it also protects us in our long-term health. Gets us where we need to be so we can keep walking, we can keep doing the tasks from day to day, it's functional fitness. So weight loss, it's a challenge. We do that exercise and we say, now we can eat that ice cream cone. It's okay to treat yourself. But the purpose of exercise is not only health, but also to aid in our weight loss goals. I'm gonna say it one more time, aid in our weight loss goals. It is not the portal to losing weight. It is a facilitator of all the other efforts we make. They say things, you see all these ads, abs are made in the kitchen because most white flours and white sugars, no matter your body type, and we can talk about body types in a subsequent video, because different body types have different calls to action on what to do for exercise. There's no one size fits all for diet or exercise, but no matter what your body type is, no matter where you carry your weight, typically, white flours, white sugars, I'm not banning them. I believe that all foods fit, and that you should have a healthy relationship with food, no disordered eating, so that you can look at a cookie and say, I'll have that once in a while. But in excess, white flours, white sugars, go straight to your midsection. So do you understand that this is a comprehensive project? That it's also not only about mindfulness around what we eat and how much we move, but that exercise is one of the many tools in your healthy toolbox to getting to the weight that you desire. And how do you understand the weight that you desire? Talk to your physician. Sometimes the standards and you know, in the medical world of what is like, you know, what actually deems the different levels, like your body mass index, your BMI, you might have heard that before, is not always fair because it's more about measurements than actual weight on the scale. So don't always listen to all of it. Work with a kind of, you know, holistic healthcare provider so they can look at the big picture. But if obesity is a struggle, start small. Measurable goals, healthy eating, consistent exercise, emphasize consistent. If you can't get to that, you know, CDC of 300 minutes a week, then try to do 200 minutes a week. If that's not realistic, 100. You can do this. I'm here for you. Ask me questions if you need.